Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I've just made a video just to help anyone who doesn't know how to do cyclizing um, into five membered and six membered rings. Okay, for the uh, five rules that I've made personally myself because I don't think uh, it was explained adequately. Okay, the first one is that you have to number the carbonyl groups. So as you can see, I've named and numbered them all from the carbonyl group. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The second one is that if you want a uh, X-membered ring, so five or six, or you can have four, but I don't think that's possible. Um, look at the X minus one carbon. So for example, I want a six-membered ring. So for example, it'll have this structure here. What will happen is it will, I'll have to look at the fifth carbon to look at the nuclear cell to attack the carbonyl group there, as you can see. Okay, um, the third rule is basically the carbonyl, it can be up or down, it makes no difference. So this number one carbon, this O minus can be up or down. As you can see, it will go into O minus when it loses electrons. No, when it gains electrons, it will become O minus. And as you can see, it's shown here. Um, the fourth rule is CH2, um, at the end, as you can see, or like the chain that is after the what's school um, where you cyclize from, it can be what's school. I've made a rule. Um, just remember, I was saying, just remember opt. Um, there's a limit on the video, so I'm gonna have to take breaks in between. Just remember opt. So basically, if the carbon was school, the end chain is basically up on that fourth carbon or the fifth carbon depending on which one you want to cyclize for so for example the sixth membered would be for the fifth and the fifth membered would be what's called for a four or five membered you look at the fourth carbon etc um so opt basically means that what's called if it's up it will be the d conformer then obviously you know what the other one will be so down it will be l conformer on the so for the fourth carbon so Okay, over here, what's school I've drawn it up. So basically, what it essentially will be is the deconformer upped. Just remember upped, 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 upped. Okay, and the fifth and final rule, this is the most important one. Just remember LA road. Obviously, you know LA from America. Just remember road. You, everyone lives on a road. Basically, what it means is in the in the what's school um, Fisher's projection from here, if it's on the left hand side, it will be above the ring. So as you can see, above the ring number two, as you can see, look look at number two, left is above the ring. And number four, um was uh number four, it's um right, so it must be down, as you can see there. Amazing bit. Okay, so for um for a six membered ring, so we will look at the rule number three which is x minus 1, so we look at the fifth uh, carbon, you draw two electrons, it goes and attacks the carbonyl group, and the carbonyl group um, gives its, uh, the carbonyl group gives its electrons to the oxygen, forming an O minus. So what will happen in the ring is that this will be number carbon number 1, as I've numbered it, it will make it a lot easier. This will be number 1, so the O minus goes on top, as this, this is also um, number 3, so up or down does not matter, no difference. As I said before in my previous video, okay. Um, then you go on to what's school. Um, you move on to draw the rule number five, LA road. So because these were on the left hand side, number two and three, number two and three carbons, it will go above LA left above left above, and this one was on the right hand side, as you can see, right hand side. So this must be below, okay. Um, and then obviously the fifth carbon, this is very important that you realize this. I've drawn, I've highlighted for this purpose because everyone gets confused at this step. The fifth carbon is here and it forms the anomeric carbon. And obviously the OH, now it has like, it's lost electrons because it's donated to the carbonyl group. There is the H, the H and obviously it forms a plus because it has lost the electrons. I'll show you how to do the five membered one. So for the five membered one, so obviously you want a five membered ring. So that's the structure of a five membered ring. Just draw that out. So for the next procedure, I've just drawn it. I've done everything. So don't look at that yet. Um, so you look at, you want a five membered ring. So you look at X minus one. So five minus one equals four. So it's the fourth, fourth carbon. 
as you can see, the fourth carbon will go and attack the carbonyl group. Once it attacks the carbonyl group there, the carbonyl group will give up its electrons to the O-, minus. so therefore the O- minus becomes negative itself. And this negative is reflected in the first carbon there. Um, there, sorry. And then what school will start doing the La Road rule. Okay, so the first, second and third West School carbons had the oxygens, um, the hydroxyl groups on the left hand side, so it's obviously above the ring. And the fourth carbon has it on the right hand side as you can see, so the fourth one's obviously, um, no the fourth one's actually being cyclized, sorry. Um, because it's being cyclized, the fourth carbon goes and joins here. So that's I've highlighted that that's the OH. That's the one that's being cyclized, and obviously, because it's it needs more electrons, it's going to be a positive there. Okay, I have to cut the video. The final step is now just explaining what happens to the remainder. So after the fourth carbon, you have CHOH and CH2OH, as you can see. So basically, this just goes onto the fourth carbon. So that will be the fifth carbon there. Um, that will be the fifth carbon there. And that will be the sixth carbon there. So that's the CH2OH. And that's the fifth carbon's OH from there, as you can see. That's just that happened, and obviously now everyone knows the final step is pretty easy. It's just the H plus transfer, H plus transfer, and the complete molecule is there. I've, um, I hope these videos have helped. Um, forward it to whoever needs help, and also, um, if you have any questions, just ask me. All the best, and I hope you all do well in your exam tomorrow. Okay.